video, we are going to be talking about the top five body language gestures that you should be aware of. And if you are new here, remember to click subscribe to my channel. So I'll be working my way down. So remember to stay tuned to the end because I'll be showing you everything. And promise I won't let you down. Cultures, you shake hands. Hi, nice to meet you. In Asian cultures, usually we say hi and we nod our head politely. Now, did you know in Poland, if you're a boy, you're expected to shake hands with every single person that you meet, even if it's for the thousandth time that you've met them? If you're a girl, don't worry, you don't need to do that. Now, in some other countries like France, when you meet someone, you give them a kiss on the cheek. So number two. In many cultures, when you disagree or you want to say no to something, you'll shake your head like this. <laughs> but in India, most Indians, when they want to agree or confirm something, they'll to the end like this. <laughs> I'm not sure how to do it. Number three. So in many Asian cultures, it's considered rude to look people in the eye when you're being told off, especially in places like Japan. However, in many Western cultures, looking people in the eye is a sign of respect. I'm watching you. It means you're being polite and you're not being rude. Well, you know what they say? means liking something but in the Middle East it's actually not quite nice to do that because there are sexual connotations behind that so don't do that in the Middle East. Number five, our lucky last. This in most countries mean okay, sure. However in some countries like France it can mean zero. So I've prepared a little universal bonus tip for you. Wherever you go in the world, you can never get this wrong. It will definitely tell people exactly how you feel. So click up here on the card to check out my previous video. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, remember to do so. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. That's it.